your friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Here we start with fractions and decimals. Firstly, we will revise study of fractions, which includes proper, improper, and mixed fractions, as well as their addition and subtraction. We shall then proceed with multiplication of fractions, division of fractions, and finally we will discuss multiplication and division of decimal numbers. Let us revise fractions as done by us in the previous classes. We know fractions as numbers of the form numerator by denominator. For example, 2 by 3 is a fraction, 5 by 7 is a fraction, 4 by 8 is another fraction, 6 by 3 is also a fraction. Fractions are further classified as proper fractions and improper fractions. Fractions in which the numerator is less than the denominator are called proper fractions. For example, 2 by 3 is a proper fraction, 5 by 7 is a proper fraction. 4 by 8 is also a proper fraction. Fractions in which the numerator is equal to or greater than the denominator are known as improper fraction. For example, 6 by 3 is an improper fraction. 7 by 7 will be an improper fraction. 5 by 2 is a improper fraction. Let us recall that the improper fraction say 5 by 4 can be written as 1 1 by 4. 1 1 by 4 means 1 whole and a quarter. Such a representation of a improper fraction is called a mixed fraction or in other words numbers which are combination of whole numbers and proper fraction are known as mixed fractions. Let us also recall the conversion of an improper fraction to a mixed fraction. Consider an improper fraction say 7 by 4. Divide the numerator by the denominator we know that 1 is the quotient and 3 is called the remainder then 7 by 4 can be written as 1 3 by 4 which means that quotient 1 gives the whole number the remainder 3 is the numerator of the fraction and the denominator of the fraction remains same. How do we convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction? Say we take a mixed fraction 2 1 by 4. First step is to multiply the whole number with the denominator. So we get 2 into 4 equal to 8. Next step is to add the numerator to this product. So we have 8 plus 1 equal to 9 and our mixed fraction becomes 9 by 4. It is now time to define equivalent fractions. Consider two fractions, 1 by 2 and 3 by 4. 
let us bring them into lowest form 1 by 2 is already in the lowest form 3 by 6 can be written as 1 by 2 that means 1 by 2 and 3 by 6 are equal or in other words we can say that the fractions are equivalent let us see 4 by 8 in its lowest form again it is equal to 1 by 2 so 4 by 8 is another equivalent fraction of 1 by 2 we can also say that an equivalent fraction can be obtained by multiplying the numerator and denominator for fraction by the same number like in this example to obtain the equivalent fractions of half we can multiply numerator and denominator by 2 to get 2 by 4 with 3 to get 3 by 6 with 4 to get 4 by 8 and so on. Hence we state that an equivalent fraction can be obtained by multiplying the numerator and denominator of a fraction by the same number. Now consider another fraction say 9 by 12. If we are required to find an equivalent fraction of this, we can either multiply it by the same number or we can divide to find an equivalent fraction. This will give us 3 by 4. So we can say that equivalent fraction can also be obtained by dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number. We thus reach the conclusion that if we multiply or divide both the numerator and denominator of a fraction by the same number, its value doesn't change. Now to check whether given fractions are equivalent or not, say we have to test whether 3 by 6 and 4 by 8 are equivalent fractions. What we need to do is just cross multiply the two fractions. We get 3 into 8 and 4 into 6. 3 times 8 is 24 and 4 times 6 is also 24. If the products are equal, then we can say that the given fractions are equivalent. And we say that two fractions are equivalent if their cross products are equal.